Internal and external cleaning of the sprayer is important after each use. Internal cleaning is done preferably in the orchard. Also, the external cleaning should be done there. However, it's also possible on a suitable area on the farm. To clean sprayers without automated cleaning systems, farmers park it in or near the orchard on grassland or agricultural soil. Make certain there is a safe distance from water bodies and other sensitive areas. Now farmers put on their personal protection equipment, which is stored in a box outside the cab. In case of a cab without filter, farmers will already be wearing the correct personal protective equipment. To be protected during inside tank cleaning, farmers must wear boots, a coverall or apron, a mask, goggles or face shield and gloves. The order for dressing and undressing is important, as is washing hands afterwards. After cleaning the inside of the sprayer with a hose, the wash water is sprayed in the orchard. Farmers need to repeat this rinsing process at least twice and spray out the washings in always changing rows. In case of external cleaning in the field, the sprayer should be cleaned in different and suitable locations each time to avoid point source pollutions. In case of external cleaning in the farmyard, the farmer drives to a suitable sprayer washdown area. The collected wastewater should be treated or disposed of responsibly. Never let it run into the sewerage. Farmers have multiple options for correct disposal. For the external cleaning, farmers put on the following equipment in the recommended order. Besides boots, these are a coverall or apron, goggles or face shield and gloves. Clean the sprayer thoroughly. Then the protection equipment will be cleaned. After finishing the application, farmers clean their hands, themselves and the clothes worn underneath the protection equipment with detergent. BASF. We create chemistry.